Most of us have thought about putting a will together, but most of us haven't done anything about it. Well, today our sponsor, Jonathan Fruitkin from the Fruitkin Law Firm, is here to take us through the steps of estate planning. Welcome to Sonoran Living. Well, thanks for having me, Andy. All right, so take us through the basics of estate planning. Okay, first of all, I promised you this, that what I would do is I would just use normal human talk and we would talk <laughs> about estate planning. I sort of threatened you. I'm like, you got to make this easy. So... There's a few things we don't know as lawyers. We don't know what Congress is going to do. We don't know what the tax laws are going to be. We don't know how much an individual is going to make or what assets they're going to acquire. Okay. But we do know one thing. We know that if you create a flexible estate plan, that when you die, your family won't be mad at you. There you go. So, and that's the last thing we want when we die is for our family to be mad at <laughs> that's us. That's right. So, <laughs> so for some people, that's real basic and easy. It's as easy as creating a simple will, a living trust, and some other documents that will plan what happens if you're incapacitated or need medical care. For other people, it's a lot more complicated. Right. But what's important is obviously to start thinking about it soon rather than wait until it's too late. All right. We could be hit by a truck tomorrow. We never know. Unfortunately, So you talk true. about um, protect property for beneficiaries. So that's the first thing that we want to do. Uh, we do. Right? And, and, you know, if you die without a will or die without trust set up, what happens is whatever the government says happens. Hmm. And let's face it, for most families, in most situations, people want certain things to go to certain people. Right. People want their kids to be raised by certain people. And all those things can be, can be taken care of by proper estate planning. Now, what if people are thinking, oh, well, it's not important. I really don't have anything of value anyway. That, and that's why they're not doing it. People think, if, if I'm not rich and I don't have anything that's worth anything, then why bother? While that may be very well true, the fact is that most people die with something. And even if it's a little bit of possessions and even if it's a little bit of things, even it's Even if it's your car, right? I mean... Just, just as simple as that. And, and, and really, it's more than just your things. It, it, it is other things that could happen to you. It's things like what happens when you go in the hospital? Who makes those medical decisions mm -hmm. for you? And all those things can be taken care of if you do your estate properly. And okay. it doesn't need to be hard, but you do need to do it. All right. So the first thing we need to, to do, are there things that we need to do before we come see you? Well, the first thing that you really need to do is to think about it. Okay. And, and really the most important thing to do is to come in and see somebody. Whether it's us or another attorney, it's important to take that first step to go in and to start the process of getting everything on paper. That way it's one less thing for you to have in the back of your mind and worry about. Right. And you talk about um, the estate, the taxes. What, what is that? How does that sort of roll in, roll into everything if we get to you and don't do it on our own? Well, I mean, the, the biggest issue with um, planning has to do with planning for your um, assets. Okay. Right now, as far as tax law goes, it's changing. So if you die this year, it's different than if you die next year. And frankly, we don't even know what that's going to be. So the most important thing to do is have a flexible plan and plan for your um, for where your assets go. Okay. Um, obviously, this is something get um, your spouse together, or you know, make an appointment, and then you'll sort of tell us everything we need to do. Maybe in our head, it's a real big thing, but you'll make it really painless for us. I promise. We're going to make it. <laughs> it we're going to make it easy, and it could even be fun. Okay. You are a fun guy. Well, thank you, You Andy. know, but before, uh, before he came on, he's like, Andy, we'll get to the segment, and then we'll go out, we'll have some creme brulee. That's going to be the deal. So <laughs> You're out the there kind next. of lawyer that I want to work with <laughs> that likes to have a good time. It is great information. Thank you so much thank for you, being Andy. on Sonoran Living, and we will have all of the contact information on our website, but you can also see it right there. Uh, four locations in the Valley, Phoenix, North Scottsdale, Chandler, and then Avondale. You can give them a call. The number is right there on your screen.